right, so we're going to start on the bolt. I got these uh, off of Amazon for the Dremel. They said they work on iron and steel, so we will see. <clears throat> um, we'll have to... Uh, We'll have to see how those work. So, and then some of you might have noticed saying, hey, wait a minute. What's that? You already cleaned yours up. Well, I finally got around to looking at my cam and I'm like, oh, you know, the cam looked good and everything. And then for some reason, I don't know why, I forgot to check. my key it is just trashed there is no way that woodruff key is staying in there i mean that's it's kind of hard to tell with uh with the picture but it's just completely trashed there's no way that stays in there so i was fortunate enough to have a neighbor two two houses away that has had this cam sitting in his house and said I could have it for a couple cases of beer. So, Jordan, thank you so much. Um, so I've got to rip this apart and, and see what kind of shape this is in. And, um, yeah, and hopefully uh, maybe, because my cam tower had, I don't know if you remember, it had those scratches in there. So I might clean this one up and see if this one looks a little better. I might actually just use this cam tower. And then, as well, if you remember, I chipped that part on mine. So maybe I can just use that as well. So I, I've got to get this cleaned up and this torn apart, but that's for another day. Um, hopefully that bolt comes out. I guarantee you it's probably not going to be as easy as mine coming out. So um, we'll have to we'll have to dig into that one as well. But today's job is to uh, get the rest of that ground out, and then um, obviously that's not going to be the right size, probably. So I've got a helicoil coming. Um, and we're going to, uh, drill it out just a little bit bigger and then put one of those in there, I think is what we're going to do. So, um, yep. But today's job is just to get that drilled out. I'll let you know how that goes. Okay. So I don't know if you remember from the previous video, we are starting out at 8.56 millimeters so that's where we're gonna start all right success so I got down and through the bolt you can see the hole in the bottom there so that would be where the bolt ends and the hole continues to go that was drilled into the block originally so now all I got to do is work on cleaning up the sides and that hole looks almost pretty well centered, but um, yeah, I just got to get that, uh, the rest of the sides kind of cleaned up. The rest of the sides kind of cleaned up and uh, get, it, get it smoothed out and get it ready for the uh, insert. All right, so I knew I was getting close because last time I had checked, I was at 15.21 millimeters. And if you remember, uh, that depth below was 16.61. So I was getting really close, so I knew it would be just a matter of time. <clears throat> but I just wanted to kind of go through. These three really did not work well trying to get through it. These four did, but I had to go through multiple bits because, you know, the ends of them would end up uh, getting dull. So it did, <clears throat> it did get through them. And then um, 
I just used my uh, my vacuum as I was going to try to suck up as much of the shards as I could. Uh, so yeah, so this is this is the bolt that was originally in it. Um, it does just slip in, especially right at the top, and that doesn't surprise me. And I mean, it's only that that long. But if I turn it, like right there, I can feel it catching. So I think I'm going to be okay with that insert. Um, it'll just, the insert will have to go down a little further. But I've got, you know, the right size drill bit for the insert and everything. Um, and that's supposed to be here tonight. So I think I'm going to wait on doing anything more with this hole because I don't want to make it any bigger than it needs to be and I know I'm through the bolt so success this morning that was a good that was a good morning well I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use that I'm gonna to have to figure out how to get that out looks like whoever was in there last chiseled out the bolt for like some sort of screwdriver thing, I don't know. I have no idea. No idea what that is. Uh, yeah. So I don't know, we'll have to see if I can get that out. I'll put my triple squares in there, but you can see it's kinda uh, stripped. And my guess is that's why they did what they did. And then maybe they couldn't get it out, and that's why it was sitting. I don't know. All right, well, uh, some disappointing news. So the parts that I ordered were supposed to be here last night, and I got a notification that it was delayed, and they'll be here either today or tomorrow. So it's kind of a bummer, so I'm not going to be able to do anything with that. Um, but what I did start to do yesterday was, uh, I decided to clean up my rail and I want to paint this. I got to just figure out how to kind of get in there and get that rust out of there. But, um, yeah, it, uh, it's coming along. So it's going to be a short video this week. I'll go ahead and post it and then, you know, I don't know when I'm going to have time to work on that. Uh, hopefully I have some time next weekend to try to get that done. So the stuff did come in. Unfortunately, I don't have time now to do it. But the good news is that's the right size drill bit and it goes down in the hole a little bit. And that's how far it goes down in. So that's only a few millimeters. So I am going to be good to go with that. What I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put the head on and use that as a template for the hole to make sure that I drill correctly down in there. So I'll have to go and see if that'll fit through the hole in the head. I'm hoping it will. All right, so that's the hole that it needs to go through in the head. And slides through and still has a little bit of wiggle room. So I'll just have to be really, really, really careful not to hit those sides. But that'll give me a really good mark for uh, the angle that I need to be as I'm, as I'm drilling down. And I'll just have to go slow. So uh, I think we're good to go on the drilling part.